Yo, what's up YouTube? Dolls getting back with another video. And today I am going to be showing everyone new how to get a hundred K net worth the fast and easy way. But before I do that, I want to show you guys one thing. Alright, here I am on my safe well gem safe opening video. So as you can see, I got over a hundred likes. So I did tell you guys that I would be doing a giveaway and all you had to do was get 100 likes on this gem safe video. So you guys did that. So I got you with the giveaway and I'll be announcing that in well later on in the video. So stay tuned. All right. So first thing and I said this in the last video is do not use the exchange. The exchange is practically a scam you do not want to do that because the lowest you can invest into in, uh, into the exchange is 30k so if you're trying to get to 100k net worth why would you put 30k of your net worth into this what if you only have 30k now you just put 30k into that for what 200 gems that's not worth it at all so do not go to the exchange Now, as you can see right here, I have a big collection, and these are items you'll see a lot, especially if you're nearing, if you're going to be nearing the 100K net worth range. So, one thing you do not want to do also, but the second thing you do not want to do is be collecting. Me, I don't even think I was at that time when I was trying to get to 100K. When I got to 100K, I got to it. As soon as possible literally I got to do it within just a couple hours because I quickly understood how the game was I wasn't even I didn't come into this game thinking oh I need to collect or anything you know I wasn't doing all this I was just I didn't know anything was like having like you know value anything just but cash like I didn't think anything had gem value you know I didn't even know trading would eventually be in this game whatever but do not do not save up your items like don't hold on to them or nothing just get rid of them because there's you're gonna get these items back just just believe me you're gonna get all these items right back here's another thing so you might think that gem safes I mean not gem safes but any safe in particular is gonna be your best friend when, when you're trying to hit, reach the 100k debt worth that is not true because you're you, when you're opening safes you're mainly just going for the gems and the probability of you even getting anything worth more than the safe itself I, I have no idea what the probability is but you're definitely it's not likely that you're gonna get an item worth more than the safe itself I mean you know there's a good chance but you're definitely not always gonna get an item worth more like as you can see in previous videos I've gotten items worth 1500 out of a 2500 gold safe so you're taking a, I, I take a thousand dollar L just by you know opening that sometimes. Um, so yeah, let's get into the next item. Okay, when grading items, now say a Dominus you grade gold, then yes, I can see you keeping that item. But if it's a silver or bronze, just go ahead and just sell it to it. You know the NPCs because if it's not a gold, then there's no point of holding on to that. Get your money's worth while you can. Get to that 100k net worth as fast as you can. I'm telling you, once you're able to trade, this is so much easier. But let me get to the next tip. The next tip is friend as many people over 100k net worth as you can. Now, this is very helpful because especially when you're friending the people who have millions and millions of money. Yeah. So 
the reason why this is very helpful because those people can see you know oh maybe they see you struggling maybe it's hard for you to reach 100k net worth you know maybe you're doing something wrong they can sell you an item that you can afford for minus 50 percent now say uh, an NPC you sell that an NPC offers plus 50 percent now the item you just bought was worth two thousand two thousand dollars in the game and the your friend sells you it for a thousand which is negative fifty percent or well, minus fifty percent and you end up selling it for plus fifty percent you just made two thousand dollars profit so that's why I said you know do that and just keep keep doing it as much as you can because it definitely helps I've done that for a couple people. I mean, I haven't gotten to a 100k net worth, but I definitely, you know, bought. I bought people's store out before, like just to help them. I'll uh, buy items for, you know, plus 25 percent, so then I can make, you know, some profit. Also, just sell it for like 20. I mean, 40, 50 percent. So, you know, we both win at the end. At the end of the day, like I sell you. I mean, I buy your items for, you know, just quick cash. And you go to you go to your next auction and just keep doing that and doing that over and over and over. So I've done that to people who are not even on my friends list. So yeah. So I'm here at the the shelf shop. You might think that you need to upgrade your shelves because the normal shelves that they give you when you start are just wooden shelves or wooden podiums and everything. They're not the most appealing, but you don't need to focus on gems just yet. Wait till you hit 100k network to focus on gems because uh, you're definitely going to want to move up. Because as you can see, um, this one right here, this is shelf pack 2, 32.5% customer tip chance, 35% with 3, 4 has 37.5, 5 is 40. And this is obviously the last one, the one I have is shelf pack 10. 52.5% customer tip chance. So, this is the one that I end up getting second because it's not that expensive and it has a high percentage rate. So, you get 40 plus 42.5% customer tip chance with shelf pack 6. And it's not it's it's red. It's not an ugly color. But you can always go with what I see a lot of people go for with their second is the shelf pack 5. 40% customer tip chance. It's only 150, you know. So this is not bad either. Shelf pack four with a 37.5% customer tip chance. Or you can go all the way down here where I see some people get, which is 1800. But if you're gonna go for this one, you might as well just go for the most expensive. I mean, you know, 1200 more is definitely a big jump, and you're not gonna like spending that 3000. But that 3000 is definitely gonna, you know pay you back this this shelf pack is definitely gonna pay you back now you may think you need to do Hank's quest but you don't do not focus on Hank's quest I mean you can just to get some gems for when you hit around 100k net worth or getting close yeah you can but he is not a priority as you're trying to reach 100k net worth and last but not least focus on auctions do an auction place your items in your shop to sell go back to an auction keep doing that over and over and over and over and over there's people that are going to want to talk to you in the game yeah that's just distraction just keep going you know keep going and going and going unless you have people that are trying to help you just keep going and going and going literally the cheapest auction with free they're free so yeah you get in for free required only 250 free 750 and then you start paying for them so yeah this is where around here is where it's going to be the most struggle when you first start but as soon as you hit like the 10k range then now you're starting to get better items starting to get a lot easier and then yeah you know once you hit the 100k range you get to Fort Boyer and it's a 2,000 fee now, once you start getting the fees, is when it starts hurting you, especially when you get that $2,000 fee. $2, fee. You might not think it, but that $2,000 fee can definitely hurt you, especially if you bid too much on your auctions. So, actually, I forgot one thing, so let me not end the video yet, and let me show you exactly what it is. 
so here I am in an auction so um, most of the time with the first auction I just look I'll peep because you're able to click items to see like how much they're worth unless they're in a box or a crate you're able to see like most of the time it'll tell you how much that item is worth so like right here this item is worth about 1400 so they're giving you like a, a rough estimate on what items are actually worth so I've been playing the game for a while so I know exactly like how much these items are worth so I can easily tell how much and how much the uh, auctions are gonna go for around that price so um, you'll easily learn that over time as you play you'll learn the, the price of items so sometimes you'll notice that they are only bit only one um, one of these NPCs will bid. That is when you definitely want to bid. I'm telling you this right now. If one bid is only placed, I just drop, I just drop stuff off my desk. But if one bid is only placed, go ahead and take advantage of that because you're gonna get auction. I mean, you're gonna get profit, automatic profit. I've learned that, and sometimes it's rare to happen, but they're the NPCs aren't gonna bid at all. Bid. Go ahead and bid. You're gonna profit, and you're gonna be thankful that I let you know this. So um, sometimes you'll just feel it, like, oh no, nah, I'm only bid like once or twice and then stop because you'll you'll see, like, it just feels like it. The NPCs just really just trying to make you really lose a lot. So as you see right here, I gained nearly 4k. So I had to also deal with the two thousand dollar entry fee so everything came to sixty six thousand and I went up the value overall was sixty nine thousand nine hundred thirty seven I profited three thousand nine hundred thirty seven dollars so and yeah I got twenty two thousand dollar crown right there I'm gonna grade that see what I can get out of that whether it's a gold or anything you know I'm gonna end up selling it anyways or if it's a gold I'll just give it you know Trade it for gems, but you know there we go. See, I let you guys know. Um, I had someone ask me, "Can you do a video on stuff like this? You know, explain a little bit about the game because I'm new." Yeah, I got y'all. Like, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to explain how to do things in the game easy. You know, so you don't sit here and struggle, have a hassle playing the game because this is a nice game. There's still problems with the game. You know. Uh, uh, things to be better, but it's still a newer game. It was just made in February, so yeah. All right, it's giveaway time, and for first place gets the ungraded, the ungraded portal. Second place gets an ungraded roadster. Now, in the last video, I did say I don't know if I had one, and I can show you right here. It's right here. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I had one in there. So, yep, there we go. And third place gets the color fedora of their choice. So, let me get this wheel all set up, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. Here I am on the wheel of names. So, I entered everyone's name that has entered. Now, I'm sorry to anybody whose name I didn't catch. Because I went through and literally entered every name that I seen. So I think I did forget one name. So let me go check real quick. Alright, everybody, everything is done. I have I have the three names written down first, second, and third. Congratulations to you three. And I'll announce another giveaway in the next video. And it might just be a cereal. Might just be a cereal item. And for those that don't already know. A serial item is an event item that is limited, but it's limited to a certain number of those items. So these are serials right here. They're they're written they're numbered. So that's a number two hundred eighty nine of five hundred ticks fedora. So I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do that just yet. Might have to wait and do that. You know in the future so thank you all for watching and make sure you like and subscribe um let's let's hit another 100 100 likes on this video you know let's keep going with the 100 likes on every video it helps me out drastically so 
again thank you thank you for all the support you guys have been doing great with these likes and everything you know y'all been subscribing like crazy and just keep that going that's all i ask for you know it's you know i, I honestly did not think like that I would be growing so much faster than I was before. All I had to do was switch up the content I was uploading. So, um, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all. And we're on the road to 5K. And I feel I feel like we're gonna hit 5K very soon. You know, I had some good comments coming in on the Gem Save video that you know one day. I'm going to be viral, I'm going to be viral real soon, and, you know, that y'all love my vids, hey, man, you know, that's that's that motivation right there, y'all let me know to just keep pushing forward, I'm just going to get better at what I do, so, you know, I'm working a full-time job, and I come home, possibly get a little bit of sleep, and then I'll record a video, or I'll just not get any sleep at all, and just record a video, and then sleep a little bit later, and, you know, I'm making sure that, no matter what I'm dealing with in, in real life, I'm not letting y'all have to suffer. I'm going to keep making these videos regardless for y'all and just keep pushing, keep, keep pushing forward. Because y'all already know I'm, 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 I'm reaching for that 100K, reaching to get verified. I'm already trying to get monetized. So just keeping these videos coming for y'all, getting my watch hours up. And as soon as I get monetized, then we got some real, some real good you know videos coming I mean it's not already like I don't make good videos but I'm gonna definitely be doing giveaways more often since y'all like the giveaways um hey you know who knows what the next the next um giveaway might be it might be a cereal limited item it might be a Lambo it might be gem safes you never know so thank again thank you all for watching thank you all for, thank you for all the support and Dallas Gaming, out.